All right, we're rolling up to the Layla community. We're having the first community center and all the people, you can see they're coming to greet us. This is the best gift in the world. This is why we do what we do. so overwhelming you see the evolution of what you can do and recognize so just overwhelming I am David. Thank you so much from all my family for the wonderful welcome. And we all believe in you. And he decided to make a commitment this year to fund with support of our community back home your community center. He decided to have 50 birthday parties to raise all the money to help make the first community center in the Mara. Please give a warm welcome to David and Julie Meltzer and their family. So whenever you have a gun, know that we will come. We will come. <laughs> Another kid. Thank you, Jackson. Get in. Come in. Jumbo! Jumbo! 
So we're going to break ground on the very first community center ever. Uh, and hopefully it'll motivate more people to do the same thing. Obviously it means a lot to the community. Uh, plus my life dreams too. Have one, have one, have one. Have one. To empower others. To empower others. This is awesome. So you are now a leader. <laughs> in our community. And, and, and you use a conga like this. Like this? When you want to address a crowd of people, you hold it like a pen and you speak to the crowd of people. Thank you. Yes, exactly. Asante Sani! Ashole! <laughs> and this is a special ornament for Mama. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Too light for heavy work, too heavy for light work. I thought Warren was good. Warren, you got your competition. Look at Cam. David, say why you want to build us such a very big ball of the community. Number one, I love you all. My dream was to empower others, to empower others. When I look at each face, I see another thousand faces that you will help. And this community center will be the first among many to help empower others, to empower others. This is the best gift I have ever gotten in my life. Finally, remember, that you don't know what you have until you've given it away. So on behalf of my family, myself, Unstoppable, Cynthia and Blaine, Rochelle, everyone else that made this journey, I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. So we brought your 50 for 50 banner, oh. and I wanted you guys to be able to do um, some thank you videos now that you're in the community. Yes. Working with all these communities here with the Unstoppable Foundation fills my heart. It feels almost as great as it did when my kids were born. I can't imagine a better feeling. It truly validates the fact that you don't know what you have until you've given it away, and it feels unbelievable. Thank right you, on. sir. Hey, and it's cool to meet you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fun, right? I let you know, <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I like your style. Thank you. So two years ago, Warren and I came and sat in that old classroom and with a dream of building these new classrooms. And with his leadership, the spirit of excellence and his unstoppable giving power, uh, we were able to assist in funding these classrooms in particular. I know we funded that classroom right there, Warren and I. And I love the message on it because it's one that I believe in, being more interested than interesting we are always learning. And if you believe in yourself, eventually, other people will believe in you as well. Check out this classroom compared to that old one. The only person who is educated is the one who has learned how to learn and change. If you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Look at this classroom, how quiet it is, full chalkboard, colors, and the messaging of you are unstoppable. And uh, absolutely consistent, persistent enjoyment of the pursuit of your potential. Thousands of lives, maybe even million, will, will change with just a little bit of effort verifying what you have by helping others. It's an amazing life I lead. I'm so blessed to have knocked this one off of my checklist, my bucket list. This is the greatest gift I've ever gotten, being able to support all these people. Thank you. Perspective's everything. And, you know, it's interesting. We went from Turkey and I saw my kids a little bit entitled, a little bit spoiled as they weren't happy with the hotel and with all the different activities or the museums. And then we went on to 
the finest camp for safari in the whole Maasai Mara. And once again, had a great time, but more concerned about the internet and Snapchat and Instagram. And then we got here and my dream came true. <laughs> they haven't looked at their phones. They haven't asked for the internet. Their eyes were glossed over with tears as they understood what it's like to give and to impact people and to help them. What true love is, these kids adore them. You'll see the photos, you'll see the videos of how their lives are changed. And that's the gift that came back to me for giving. I could never afford to empower my children in that way. And it took giving, giving me more than enough so that my kids could share in the wonderful love and gifts of the universe to build in leadership center to help these kids. They're so grateful and so are my kids. And this I guarantee will be the best vacation of their lives, just helping others. No water slides, no phones, no internet, just love and I'm overwhelmed. Back at Cottage 3, day one in the books. What a great transition day, lesson learned. You can't make someone be empowered, but you certainly can show them. And uh, I cannot tell you how fulfilled I am to see my children really appreciate uh, what they can do in their lifetime. And I've done some extraordinary things that people think I've done. And this is one of the first times ever that uh, all three of my daughters told me how proud they were uh, of me and none of the BS, just helping others to help others. And we're gonna see a lot more. So hang in there, this is proof you can make a lot of money, help a lot of people, and have a lot of fun. Good night, guys. Wow, so I remember um, this famous person telling me that very, very, very wealthy person and I had just lost everything and he was trying to encourage me and he said, you know, he goes, Dave, he goes, when I became wealthy, I started buying things because I wasn't happy and then, <clears throat> I'm not making through this, uh, he said, uh, I'm going to, so I started buying different things and it didn't make me happy. So then I bought more things and once again, it didn't make me happy. And so I took this trip, someone invited me to a trip to uh, the Middle East to uh, give wheelchairs to people that are, can't afford them. And so he got off the plane with the wheelchairs and he went to this woman, who, her son, who was five years old. And for the first time she got out of bed and was in a, <laughs> in a wheelchair. So he walked away and the little boy ran after him, grabbed his leg and he said, Thank you so much. My mom's never walked before. I can go places with, and he said, and he looked at me and he was crying. And he said, finally, I was happy. That story changed my life. <clears throat> so I decided as I was there broke, <laughs> they took everything from us, that I was gonna wake up and be of service and just pray for 10 people to help every day to make them happy. So today, <laughs> It was like giving a wheelchair to so many things. I you know my critical moment was Justin, who I call the angry Canadian. <laughs> He's behind the camera. <laughs> He's videoing everything. And he, I was talking and he turned to my family and, and I'm looking and all of a sudden I'm talking but the camera is shaking. And the only ever time I saw that with Justin was he had fought, we had worked him so hard that he actually fell asleep. <laughs> and, and they saw the camera drop. I'm like, dude. <laughs> but it, the camera dropped because he was crying uncontrollably. And he's like, I'm sorry. He goes, I am so grateful, Dave. This makes me so happy. 
and you know I've traveled the girls went to Turkey to Richard's camp and they live a luxurious life and my biggest fear is my biggest blessing was growing up with nothing and how do you replace that to your kids if any of you know that fear of having nothing and how do you empower your kids when you had to go through years and I, I was praying because I know my oldest came back a new person that these young teenage women would see what was really important and it took them about 10 minutes. 10 minutes to figure it all out and I was just so grateful. So sorry I went over time. I love you all and you literally made me so happy.